craft beer it's kind of a one-off little gimmick thing you know but it's, it's, it's a fun one we gotta have fun with it you know so look at what we have from rogue in oregon this is voodoo donut maple i'm sorry voodoo donut bacon maple ale one more time bacon maple ale that's right ale brewed with natural flavors voodoo donut now a lot of you guys probably have no idea where the hell this shit comes from. I only know because I watch Man vs. Food. While I'm not a fan of gluttony, <clears throat> and I really, I'm not a fan of competitive eating, like I don't really want to watch some guy stuff his face, but I love Man vs. Food. Well, hell, Man vs. Food, No Reservations, Layover, and Bizarre Foods. Um, I love those shows because I love seeing different restaurants across the country and across the world, seeing what different places are like and the different foods that are served up. In this case, I saw Voodoo Donut on an episode of Man Vs. Food. It is a donut shop. <clears throat> They're in Portland, Oregon. I think they have another location in Eugene, Oregon. Forgive me if I'm wrong on that. But uh, they are just a funky, creative donut place that has all kinds of funky donuts. I think they, have, I think they actually have a, a, uh, a bacon maple donut. Um, along with a donut, the shape of a little Voodoo um, doll and shit. It's really crazy, really creative. When I saw that episode, I said, shit, I'd love to go there one day. And then about a month or so ago, wifey's at Whole Foods, and I say, hey, pick me up some beer. I don't care what it is. Surprise me. And this is what she surprised me with. I didn't even know this existed. But uh, she brought me home some Voodoo Donut Bacon Maple Ale. Um, let's see. Dedicated to Trey's, Trey's and Cat Daddy, the robes of Voodoo Donuts. Okay, yeah. Uh, brewed and bottled by Royal Gales, Newport, Oregon. So, you know, it's an Oregon thing. Um, let's see, list of ingredients. I'm not going to read all that. And it doesn't say anything else. It's just a fucking pink bottle. What more is there? Anyway, so I'm dying to try it. I'm dying to try it. It's been in my fridge for, uh, for about a month or so now. So we're finally going to crack it open here. And just to kind of give you an idea of what people are saying about this, this is Voodoo Donut Maple Bacon Ale from Rogue Ales um, on Beer Advocate. Out of 76 reviews, it gets a 74. Okay. Um, now, it is categorized on here as a smoked beer, um, and it's 5.6% alcohol by volume. Okay. Um, you know, I'm not going to get into, like, the details and specifics of the style or you know, why, why they brewed it and what the ingredients are. Now, matter of fact, fuck it. Um, yeah, it has uh, Brees, Cherrywood Smoked Malt, Weirman Beechwood Smoked Malt, House Smoked Hickory Malt, Great Western Two Row Malt, Munich Malt, C15, C75 Malts, Applewood Smoked Bacon, real bacon, Pure Maple Flavoring, Rogue, Micro Hop Yard Revolution and Independent Hops, Free Range Coastal Water, and Pac-Man Yeast. No chemicals, preservatives, or additives. Beer should never have chemicals, preservatives, or additives, so thank God for Rogue and all the other craft brewers out there. Anyways, so th that's what it is. Fuck it. This is kind of a gimmicky warm-off, just, you know, for the hell of it, just to see what it's going to taste like. So, off we go. Voodoo Dumbbell. Ba maple. Ba maple. Maple Bacon Ale. There you go. Bacon Maple Ale. All right. It's a tough name to say fast. All right. Popping it open. Ooh, smoky. Joe D would approve. Alright. And you know, it's a rogue uh, it's a rogue beer. I got my rogue dead guy glass, my favorite rogue beer, and hell, my favorite beer logo ever. So, off we go. I love these these big old Oh, it's it's glass, it's not ceramic, but it looks like a freaking ceramic bottle. Either way it's cool as hell. And actually, I've been eating donuts for the last couple days because the sales reps passed by the job. Had a sales rep from one company yesterday leave two boxes of Dunkin' Donuts. A sales rep from the other company today, our distributors, um, today leave another box of Dunkin' Donuts. So I've been sucking down donuts like nobody's business, and I shouldn't be. Anyways, so here we go. 
It's a hazy brownish amber, hazy dirty brownish amber color. Not a whole lot of carbonation. Nice looking. I just caught a whiff of it and it's fucking maple syrup. Maple fucking syrup. And smoked bacon. Holy crap. I caught the sweetness of the maple syrup, but when I really put my nose to it, I caught smoky bacon. No fucking bullshit. Oh my god, it smells like breakfast. Seriously, I'm missing some links and some pancakes. This thing smells smoky, man. Like after you've been smoking something, barbecuing something, grilling something, you know, you've been out in front of the grill for about, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes, and then you come back inside, and then an hour later you can kind of smell the smoke on your clothes. It's that kind of smoke. With porky. Mmm, fried pork fat, yeah. Dude, it smells like fucking maple. Bacon maple. Maple bacon ale. Jeez. Can't get that right to save my life, but who cares? Alright. Yeah, this isn't about this isn't about hops, this isn't about malt. No no no. This is this is fucking maple and fucking bacon. Smoked fucking bacon. So, before I dig in, cheers to Rogue. Cheers to Voodoo Donut. Cheers to Man vs. Food. And cheers to anybody watching this fucking video. Thanks a lot. Salud. Like, I feel like smoke should be coming out my mouth when I do that. Okay. As you start sipping, you're sipping, you're sipping, it tastes like a beer. Simple, you get the carbonation fizz, kind of a bland beer, semi-medium body, you know, not a lot of flavor up front. You're just drinking and it tastes like a beer, it tastes like a beer until you swallow and you kind of open your mouth and breathe a little and you get smoke. Fucking smoke. Yeah, I'm not really getting any maple in the flavor. The smoke is just so overpowering, like ridiculously overpowering. It's like it's like bacon and wood, you know, like cooking bacon like on a wood fire where you're gonna get that rich wood smoke mixed in with like the bacon, the meat and grease smoke. That's what that is. There's nothing else to this beer. Like it, it overpowers everything else. The maple smell was great when I was just sniffing the beer, but drinking it, the maple's gone. The maple's gone. Wow. Interesting does not begin to describe this thing. Um, you know what, I'm going to judge this as far as my rating because there's, there's really nothing else for me to say here. The body, as you're drinking, like how it feels in your mouth, it's kind of like dead guy. You know, grab a dead guy, and this is not like super frosty cold. It's cool, it's cold, but it's not super frosty. So the flavors have been released, you know, the smells and flavors are coming out of this. Take a dead guy at the same temperature and just start drinking. Just sip, 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 sip. It's going to feel the same way going down. You know, body texture, that kind of stuff, dead guy. Until you, you know, until you swallow, open your mouth and breathe a little, and then it's nothing but smoke. Eh. Cloying smoke. This can this can this this can get this can get kind of nasty kind of fast. I don't really know if, if I'm gonna be able to drink this whole thing. I'm going to, but I'll put it in the freezer and try to try to try to bring down that that the power of the smoke flavor because it's really overpowering. So my rating for this as a one-off, as a gimmick beer, as a beer brewed, created and brewed just for the fuck of it, because that's what I know it was. Even rating it with those considerations. This is still a glass half empty. I won't go a complete glass empty because I do give them points, you know, the body of the beer, it's, it's well constructed, but that smoke flavor is just so overpowering. Some people may like it more than me and taking that into consideration, glass half empty. Um, if you're curious, go for it. If you don't like smoky things, don't spend your money. And that's about it, guys. 
Voodoo Donut. Bacon, maple, ale, from Rogue. Creative, lovely fucking bottle, I'll probably save it. But the beer itself, smoky as fuck. Drink at your own risk. I have no more to say, so I'm out of here. Thanks for tuning in, and remember Hoggy's Beer on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Hit me up, comment, subscribe. Do what you gotta do, and stay tuned. There's more, there's obviously more coming. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be back. Uh, yeah, even, even with the smokiness. Fuck it. Cheers.